Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my week 15 predictions for the 2018 NFL season. Now, as you can see right now, I picked the Chiefs to beat the Chargers and I was wrong. The Chargers, let me flip, ended up beating the Chiefs 29 to 28 and had the cojones to go for two to take the lead. At least I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Oh man, this was an incredible game though. I, I saw some highlights. This was a pretty back and forth game. Um, to, <clears throat> to a degree in the beginning. And then Chiefs kind of climbed ahead and Chargers fought their way back. Oh man. Alright, now the Saturday games. Right now it is technically Sunday. It's 12.36 in the morning. The games are over. And as you can see, I picked the Texans and the Browns to win their games over the Jets and the Broncos. Now, I watched the Texans-Jets game. That one I did. Well, some of it. The, the end of it, mostly. I was working. Um, and then I didn't watch the Browns-Broncos game, whatever, whatsoever. I was, you know, doing men. I'm changing out my room during the winter semester I'm doing all kinds of stuff but right now I am two in one and let's make this a better week than the ones I've had the past couple of weeks so when you have the Packers versus the Bears I am taking the Bears to win this game their defense is scary last time they played Aaron Rodgers got hurt Brett Hundley had to come in and then Aaron came back with his cape said here I am to save the game. Whew. Touchdown. Win the game. Yay. Uh, that's not going to happen this time. Bears are going to win. Lions at Bills. I'm going to take the Bills in this game. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me how. Taking the Bills. Josh Allen. Let's roll. Buccaneers at Ravens. I'm going to take the Buccaneers in this game. I understand Lamar Jackson's the starter for, you know, right now. He has been named the starter over Joe Flacco, but I think with him officially being named the starter, he's no longer the um, manager. He, you know, not keeping his team afloat, waiting for Joe Flacco to come back. Now, he's the big man on campus. Guess what? Buccaneers are winning this game. Cardinals at Falcons. I am taking the Falcons to win this game. I don't care if their defense is bad. The Cardinals are the Cardinals this year, and the Falcons are going to win. Raiders at Bengals. I don't care that the Raiders won last week. The Bengals are beating them this week. Titan. That might be a little bit of um, just me being pissed off, but I don't care. <laughs> Titans versus Giants. I'm taking the Giants here. Giants are really catching steam, and they are a possible threat to the Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC East. More the Dallas Cowboys than the Eagles, but just because the Eagles are, unless the Foles pulls a rabbit out of his hat like he did last year. Dolphins at Vikings. I'm going to take the Vikings. I'm sorry to my co-worker that I keep picking the Vikings and they keep losing. I'm sorry your team keeps losing. I so I'm sorry I keep jinxing them, but I'm going to take them to beat the Dolphins. They had that emotional win over New England, and they lose this week. Redskins at Jags. I'm going to take the Jags here. Um, Mark Sanchez is going to be no match for that Jags defense, and they're winning this game. Expect that to be real low scoring. Cowboys at Colts. I am taking the Colts to beat the Dallas Cowboys in this game. I don't care about Zeke. Don't care about Dak. Andrew Luck's going to find a way to pull this game out and win and beat the Cowboys and make the NFC East a lot more interesting. All right, next we have the Seahawks at the 49ers. I'm taking the Seahawks to win this game. Richard Sherman faces his former team for the second time this season, and they and the Seahawks are going to get the better of him and the rest of that defense and the 49ers offense, and they win this game. Patriots at Steelers. Now, I got this game recording while I go to my um, work's holiday party. I'm going to follow the game on my phone 
I'm going to follow it. But I'm going to have it recording here at home. And I'm going to watch it. As long as, well, if the Steelers, if it's a close game, I'll watch it. Depending on, you know, highlights and whatnot. If New England completely blows out Pittsburgh, I'm not watching it. But if by some miracle the Steelers win, I'm definitely watching. But I'm going to take the Patriots to beat my Steelers. Then you have the Eagles against the Rams. I'm going to take the Rams in this game. Nick Foles, he's not going to have a repeat of last year. The Rams win this game. Then you have the Saints at the Panthers. I'm going to take the Saints here. They're hot. The Panthers aren't. And the Saints win this game. Wow, I blew through that. Like, <sighs> But it's getting late. I want to edit these, go to bed, have them uploaded, ready for you guys before the games come out. So if you guys like this video, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. And I'll see you guys next video. Later. Once I was seven years old, mama told me, go make yourself some friends or you will be lonely. Once I was seven years old.